So, you know, so why are they doing that? Why? I don't know. Why does an intelligence linked company want to simulate with DHS and law enforcement um, a, a series of hacks that disrupt national infrastructure doing, during a U.S. presidential election and martial law is declared? Well, if you look at all of this through the lens of risk management from the elite's perspective, let's take the words of Larry Fink, for example, of BlackRock, who's been obsessed with risk management his whole career. He has a quote, he's on video saying, um, that he, that the markets do not like democracy. Democracy is messy. They like totalitarian governments because the risk is low. Elon Musk is the, one of these figures that's trying to sort of uh, position himself as a, a free speech champion and one of these figures uh, that's on the populist right but in are contractors for the Pentagon and intelligence, like SpaceX. So you're saying the guy looks like a front or... Well, I think there's a conflict of interest with Elon Musk. So do you think that Elon Musk as a Pentagon and intelligence contractor would restrict the Pentagon's use of those tools they spent millions of dollars in over a decade developing? I don't think so. Yeah, so I think one of the reasons they want this new system that ultimately amounts to a control system is because they see it as the ultimate form of risk management. Underclass. Yeah. So you surveil them constantly. Uh, you can turn their money on and off. You can turn their access to services and really anything else on and off as well under the digital ID functionality. Um, it's uh, a way to keep people in line in a way that didn't exist in you know feudal years.